Dark matter makes up roughly 27% of the mass of the universe, and it does not reflect light. It can't be seen directly with telescopes, but astronomers infer its presence because of the gravitational effects it has on the matter we can see. Now a controversial new theory claims it can explain the mysteries answered by dark matter in a totally different way by reworking our understanding of gravity. When studying stars and galaxies, astronomers have found the forces of gravity appear stronger than expected. The outer regions of galaxies, like our own Milky Way, rotate much faster around the center than can be accounted for by the quantity of ordinary matter like stars, planets and interstellar gases. Traditionally, physicists have explained this inconsistency by assuming there must be something else out there we cannot see called dark matter. Dark matter particles have never been observed despite many efforts to detect them. But a new paper by a physicist from the University of Amsterdam suggests a completely new theory, one that does not include dark matter at all. Our current ideas about space, time, and gravity urgently need to be rethought. We have long known that Einstein's theory of gravity cannot work with quantum mechanics. Author of the new paper, Professor Eric Freeland, told Dutch News site NOS, Our findings are drastically changing and I think that we are on the eve of a scientific revolution. In the paper, which has been published in the preprint server RSIV, Professor Verlin claims to calculate the movements of stars without including dark matter in the equation. His controversial suggestion is gravity is not a fundamental force of nature at all, but rather an emergent phenomenon. This can be thought of as the same way temperature is an emergent phenomenon, arising from the movement of microscopic particles. The new theory, called emergent gravity, suggests gravity comes as a side effect of the entropy of the universe. Entropy describes the amount of disorder in a system. Professor Verlins took the entropy of the universe and used it to adapt a theory called the holographic principle by Gerard T. Hooft. He says gravity emerges from the changes of fundamental bits of information stored in the structure of space-time. At large scales, it seems gravity just doesn't behave the way Einstein's theory predicts, he said. He says dark energy, the mysterious force that is causing unusual things to happen in the universe, could be to blame for the increased gravity in stars and galaxies. Professor Verlin's theory started out as a paper published in 2010. In that paper he showed how Newton's famous second law, which describes how apples fall from trees and satellites stay in orbit, can be derived from underlying microscopic building blocks. Now in the new paper he has demonstrated that when you factor this new definition of gravity, it no longer needs a new particle to account for dark matter. The behavior of galaxies makes sense without it. We have evidence that this new view of gravity actually agrees with the observations. Professor Verlin said, at large scales, it seems gravity just doesn't behave the way Einstein's theory predicts. The next step will be to test the theory which has not been through the rigorous peer review process yet to be published in a scientific journal. Dark matter is not the only theory that does not fit in with our current theory of gravity. The standard model says everything in the universe is made from the most basic building blocks called fundamental particles that are governed by four forces, gravity, electromagnetic, weak nuclear and strong nuclear. But the standard model has left some questions unanswered for years. So Scientists are keen to break free of it and find new theories. It can't explain gravity, for example, because it is incompatible with our best explanation of how gravity works. General relativity, the quantum theory used to describe the small particles in the world, and the general theory of relativity used to describe the larger objects world, are also difficult to reconcile.